Hi, Shai from Spider Holster, and I'm here to talk a little bit about the Spider Light Backpacker Kit. So, uh, as you can see, it's right here um, um, on my backpack, and it's carried in a very specific way through the holster. You basically slide it down, the lens always pointing to the center. Um, we have an elastic uh, bit here that goes over the lens, just in case you're walking with it for a long time. You do not want it to rock. That's the way to, to do it. And you can disengage it and just carry it like this. Uh, very easy, slide in and out, and you can use the lock for, for security. Um, one of the benefits and one of the uh, benefits over uh, the, our competitors is the fact that you can take the holster out very easily with no assembly whatsoever. So now this is a fully functional holster, can go on a belt in a heartbeat, now I'm carrying my camera here. Another feature that we like is that it comes equipped with a uh, GoPro plate as well. So I can put and slide a GoPro right into here. It locks right in. So I have a GoPro and my camera with me if I wish to. I can take this out very, very easily. And vice versa, I can slide my holster back in with no assembly whatsoever. It locks as it slides in. My camera is right in here. It's done here. Uh, one of the main benefits as well is the fact that we do have our rotating pin. The pin takes a lot of the torque off. If, the, if it's a bigger camera, you will feel a difference. Now you feel the, only the weight and you don't have any torque forces that are actually pulling down on you. Um, also coming up are going to be other items that can slide in and out just like this, so, but that will come in the future. We'll have uh, more coming from Spider. So the first step for assembly is uh, uh, taking the back piece, uh, disengage the Velcro like so, and then basically choosing the position or the location that you think is gonna be best. Once you have that location, you simply put the Velcro just like this. Please make sure to put the larger part of the Velcro on top. Okay, so this is clear and free. Now, in order to assemble the front part, you do need to take your, uh, your backpack off and assemble. Once you have the back piece positioned perfectly, then you can go ahead um, and assemble the front part. The front part, Again, you have those two hooks here. You'll have to engage those two hooks first and then basically snap it right in. The thicker the strap would be, the harder that snap in would be, uh, but most uh, backpacks should still work. Again, the first step is to wrap this strap and take it off as much as possible. Engage with your right thumb, press firmly. Now you're disengaging this, now the right hook, and that part is off. Another component is the, uh, the spider light plate. So that's a plate that's specifically designed for uh, mirrorless and lightweight cameras. The mirrorless cameras are of course a lot thinner, so we had to design a completely different plate. Um, since uh, Arca Swiss uh, tripod geometry is very prevalent in that mirrorless space, the spider light plate has Arca Swiss features already built in. So you can just slide the plate in and if you have an Arca Swiss tripod, it would slide right in and lock. So you have no need for any other uh, plates. That should work uh, just the way it is. Another item that we put a lot of attention to is actually making uh, sure that the, the plate does not uh, block the battery door. So this is an X-T1. X-T1 has a very, very close, the quarter 20 is very close to the battery. This is the only plate uh, that actually does not cover that door. So it has a lot of capabilities and it could move around from the right to the left in order to break away and actually accommodate for uh, many of the uh, smaller cameras battery doors 
it still works just as well. And there is an external uh, extra quarter 20 just in case you have another style tripod and you want to connect that to it. So um, that uh, spider light plate actually has an accommodation for bigger bodies and also for vertical grips. It has two what we call bumpers um, on the bottom that can be removed very simple with a, you know, with, a, uh, with a driver. So you'll take those two bumpers out and that would give you the option to either go to bigger cameras. So for example, that's the 5D Mark II and the Spider Light plate then will fit. Or if you have the smaller mirrorless cameras, a lot of them have battery grips. If you're using a battery grips or a battery grip, you might have to take those two bumpers out as well and that should fit nicely there as well. Thank you so very much, and we'll see you soon.